What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on One Rover's Vlogs, hope everyone's well. First of all, hope you guys had a really good Christmas and a good New Year as well. But yeah, back again with another video just to talk a bit about the transfers, uh, any links going on at Rover's in the past few days. Uh, also, what's going to happen with players going out and sort of how much we've got to sort of work with and if there's any players we need to get rid of, uh, you know, for us to increase our, our wage budget for this journey but if you enjoy the video please leave a like subscribe if you also leave any comments on the things i'm going to talk about in this video as well and leave any uh player suggestions who you think we should sign but yeah a few players that we've been linked to here first one is an old player that used to play for us had a very long spell at rovers come through the academy and has been linked with us again he's been linked with us a few um times since he's left us and that is ellis harrison of course at the moment he's at portsmouth been there for a few years now hasn't really been that consistent starter that he moved there um and he thought he would be but He's been linked again. I'm not sure how long he's got on his contract, but I've seen uh, he hasn't really been starting for them uh, again today. He's playing today on the bench again uh, and hasn't scored this season in the league. He's played 11 games, got one assist. Uh, I know he scored a hat-trick in the EFL Trophy away at Wimbledon, but hasn't been scoring that many goals since he left Rovers. I think only 10 in the league um, since he's been at Ipswich and Portsmouth um, since he left Rovers. Uh, so, leave leave your thoughts. I mean, um, I think it would be a, an okay sign-in. I'm not, like, he's not the main priority striker I would like. I think he's he's been at Rovers. He's had good, good spells and bad spells during his time. Of course, done very well in the season. We got promoted to back to League 2 um, in the conference. He got 13 goals in the league. And, of course, the season after that, um, he got 12 goals before he then left in the summer to go to Ipswich. So... I'm not really sure, so leave your thoughts. Let me know if you would like him back. Um, but that's the thing with with Ellis Harrison. He hasn't. There was only two seasons that I can remember that he got over over ten goals with us. And like I said, he's only got ten goals in the league since he left us as well. And that was quite a while ago. So he's had injury problems and obviously been a bench player. So let me know about that. The second one is a striker from Scunthorpe, Ryan Loft, who. Uh, I've seen on Twitter from a journalist. I don't know how good of a journalist he is, but I think a lot of people seen it. Um, and, you know, I quote tweeted it saying about him as well. So, and that was on Saturday. So I'm not sure how 100% um, the rumours are. All I know that is that we're linked with him. And that would be the sort of main striker. He's uh, a target man, six foot three, uh, still very young, only 24 years of age. And, you know, he's re really only been playing first team for the last sort of two years. He's had loan spells before that, and he was at Tottenham. Um, he come through the Youth Academy at Tottenham, and Leicester bought him from Tottenham as well. So he must have something good about him if he was at those two Premier League clubs. And I think, um, you know, last season he got eight goals in League Two and a very struggle inside uh, for Scunny, only just staying up. And this season he's got six goals in all competitions, four in the league and two in other cup game so I think it would be a really good sign in uh, his contract's also expiring so they're looking to get rid of him now and um, apparently 50,000 is the region they're looking for I know apparently Colchester want him as well and there's a few other clubs uh, also but I think he's the sort of striker we need I know people will say oh we need a prolific striker but it's not going to happen in 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 this January in a very hard period to get players um you know, in on loan, let alone permanent. So I think if we could get him, I think he's at a good age to develop. Um, I think if he's in a better team with us, where there's more creative players, where we create more chances, and I, I think he could be very good for us. So please let me know your thoughts on that one. And of course, there's an, the ongoing story that I did a video a couple of weeks ago about Mark, who's talks are still ongoing. Um, you know, Barton was saying about there's a certain price they still need to pay, even though I don't think he will be a player. He's linked with the coaching role at Plymouth, but Mark Hughes um, looks set to go. I don't know when. I don't know how long it's going to take because, um, of, of course, he's not going to play. He's, he's only there for a coaching role, so we'll see. But I think there's other players that, uh, of course, Westbrook is one of those, but I haven't heard anything yet, and it's going to be hard with him. He's going to have to take, he's gonna have to take a wage cut if he wants to leave because apparently he's... Uh, our highest earner on four thousand pound a week, 
Um, and like I said, he hasn't he hasn't really played, and when he has, he's sort of flat to deceive. It's sort of gotten really because um, there were spells last season where he looked good, but he just hasn't had that consistency. And um, you know, he he really does need to go and, and play. You know, he's he's twenty five now, um, and he he just needs to go and play. Whether it's a League Two team, a League One team, but for certain he's going to have to take a wage cut and we we really do need to get rid of him if if we're to get more players as well and of course the likes of Hargreaves again um players like that and even Leon Clark I know he he done really well on that first game with us um scored a goal on his debut against Crawley and then he got injured in the game after and hasn't played since I'm not sure how much money he's on it sort of depends because he's of course uh, I think the second oldest player um age 36 and has been out injured since he's only played what 120 minutes for us in two games and he's been out injured ever since so really there's other players we need we, we need to get rid of and the other thing as well center backs we haven't been linked with any at the moment but for me personally I don't know about you guys of course leave your thoughts in the comments but we really do need to get a center back or two um I think you know scoring goals we've done pretty well I know there's games where we 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 haven't took opportunities but there's I've been pretty much every game this season um, that we've conceded a lot of goals, um, and the defense has been has been you know the the main thing you know either whether it's mistakes leading to goals or just de defending set pieces or whatever it is. But there's certain players that we have, and but we need players anyway because you know we've been struggling to field. I know there's been a few players out with COVID, but we need centre backs anyway. Um, so for me, I hope to see centre backs being linked within the next few weeks. Um, but we desperately need one or two, uh, to say the least. Um, of course, because if we want to be serious about getting promoted, you know, there's still chance that we still got games to play. It's just being more solid at the back. Really, that's the main thing we need to we need to focus on. But of course, leave your guys thoughts on um, all the topics I've talked about in this video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, please leave a, li a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We are on the road to 4,100 subscribers. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Up the gas.